Understanding healthy boundaries of privacy and trust. It's not easy to be together nowadays. Most of people have no skill to be with other people. We feel like we live with many people, but we feel so lonely. We don't trust people much. We don't want to share something deep with anybody nearby. It's so hard to find people to talk so with some topic that deep inside us. We cannot express our real concern, our real problem to other people nearby. It's so hard. Many people feel lonely, feel isolated, feel empty. Even they live in the middle of a lot of people. This is sad situation because in the past, 50 years ago, people always have fun. In most of the village in Thailand, people woke up and then joking around, they can yelling, joking, teasing each other. You can hear laughing everywhere. Because at that time, people don't use the word working. They don't work. But they use the word like planting rice or harvesting rice or building house. If we build in a house, we say, oh, go building house. They, they, they didn't say go to work. So when they building a house or harvesting the rice or planting the rice or do something, many of them go together and help. So it's very fun because they work together, they get tired, they joking around, so they're very close together. That's why people don't feel like they have a work, they have a job. They just live their life. That is what happened in 50 years ago. This is the way I grew up with. People don't work. That's why people love to be together. They don't want to leave their village. If they have to go somewhere for a few days, they feel so bad. They want to come back home. They miss their home. They miss their friends. They miss their community. They feel fun. They feel secure. They feel good. But now, those kind of feeling is hard to find. It's hard to find the situation like that, the feeling like that now. Because after 50 years ago, we start to have new way of living. People start to go to work. We use the word working more and more. Work means you have to leave your family, leave your friends and go to work eight hours per day, every day, for many years. Work and make money and bring money back home. So when we separate from our family, our friend, our community for eight hours per day, every day, that is the beginning of disconnection between us and everything around us. The first thing is we disconnect us from our partners and disconnect ourselves from our kids. Some people, even their marriage, they will, they will see each other only a few hours per day in the morning and evening. A few hours in the evening and everybody tired and went to bed in the morning, woke up and then see each other a little bit and hurry to go work and they leave their house, leave their family, leave their partner. So we spend most of our lifetime working. We have no time for ourselves, for our families. 
That's why we don't understand each other. The distance starts to be far apart more and more and more. And our children grew up with no experience about being together. They did not learn how to be together. They were sent to kindergarten, sent to school, but in the school or in the kindergarten, if they did not teach about how to be together, they teach about how to compete each other, how to fight with each other, to compete, to be number one, to be the best. So we grew up with no skill of being together. And now, when we grew up like this, we start to create one thing we call privacy. The word privacy become a big wall in our life. It become big and tall wall to block other people to come into us. It's hard for us to connect with other people, and other people cannot connect to us easily because the wall is so, so thick and tall. Privacy wall is a big thing. Even in a family, we cannot communicate together easily anymore. That's why in the same family, we cannot talk, we cannot understand each other easily anymore because privacy wall is so big. And then we have no time to share, to be together. And conflict spreading all over, everywhere. And we don't know how to solve this kind of conflict in our life. So we need to rely on some psychiatrists, some people from outside to consult, to do things outside more. But it never solved the real problem. How can we deal with this problem? Because now it becomes deep problem. And then most of people think this is normal problem. When we feel lonely, we feel sad, we feel empty, we feel no meaning. This kind of feeling become normal in our life. It's so sad that we think this is normal. And when we, if, when we believe that it's normal, we don't want to solve this problem. Because it's no more thing. But when I look back 50 years ago, people don't feel like this much. They don't feel lonely. They don't feel sad for a long time like now. They don't feel empty because they have a lot of fun. They have many people that they love and many people love them. And then they can enjoy their life together most of the time. So we think about this. 